Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode. And in this episode, we would like to discuss about the function memory compare. So this function memory compare is going to return an integer value as a result of evaluating this function and this function will take uh, two objects basically these objects could be strings or other, or other type of objects but it will take uh, two objects object 1 or s1 and object 2 s2 and the number of bytes that needs to be compared between these two objects now let's go and see in here that this function compares the specified a number of bytes of its, of its first argument with its second argument's corresponding bytes. So the number of bytes are going to be specified in here and it will compare the number of bytes in the first argument to the value of the number of bytes in the second argument. The function returns a value greater than zero if the first argument is greater than the second. And it will return a zero if the arguments are equal, or it will return a value less than zero if the first argument is less than the second. Now in here we have a few examples. Let's go and run this program. And as you can see in here, we have string 1 and string 2. String 1, uh, the first four uh, bytes of string 1 and string 2 are basically the same. And that's why when we have tried to compare the first four bytes, the result is a 0. Now, when we tried to compare string 1 with string 2, and the full number of characters, which is uh, 7 characters, you can see that we got minus 1 because string 1 is lower than string 2. And what does this mean? It means that each one of these characters, they have a numeric value. And because E, F and G has a lower numeric value compared to X, Y and Z, and that's why when comparing S1 to S2, because S1 is less than S2, then we have got a negative value. And in here, when we swapped uh, the location of S1 and S2, now we compared S2 to S1, you can see that we got a positive value because S2 is greater than S1. And now let's go and see how these characters could be compared to each other. As we said before, each character has, a, has an equivalent numeric value. Let's go and remove the comments from these two printf statements, you can see that here we want to print the value of E character and in here we want to print the value of X character. Now let's go and run this program. Now you can see that E has a value of 69 and X has a value of 88. And that's why string 1 was always lesser than string 2 and these memory compare functions. And these values are basically based on the ASCII character set that is defined for, for representing characters in digital systems. If you would like to know more about this character set, then you can search for it on Google and find out more about this. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned.